Hello, I'm Darren, and I'm from Movie Reviews 101 and the Talking Stars podcast. And today, I'm going to talk about The Snowman. Directed by Thomas Alfredson, who bought us Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, and Let the Right One In. And it's adapted from a Joe Nesbitt book, novel, who gave us the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. It stars Michael Fassbender, Rebecca Ferguson, Charlotte Gainsborough, and Val Kilmer. And the story follows Harry Hole, who must solve a missing persons case with his new partner, Katrine, played by Ferguson, where the killer leaves a snowman at the crime scene. We get plenty of suspects through this film to keep us guessing, and we have to follow how the two detectives' personal lives will be involved to where the outcome will come, either before they got to here or in their current situation. The things I did like about this is I do think the performances are good. Bassbender, yet again, is great in the leading role. The settings, well, we have, in one of the opening sequences, we have a, a car chase over the bridges, the highway bridge type things, between the islands, and it looks fantastic. Some of the countryside settings, snow covered, brilliant looking. But when you get into the town, they're kind of, yeah, it's just a town. Which is a sad thing, but as soon as we leave the town, you're like, yeah, this is getting some visual visual gold for us. I also believe that the weapon that the killer uses is very original and is sort of right up there with what Anton was using. I can never pronounce his name. From No Country from Old Man, right up there with that. And when you see it in effect, it is brutal. They are the things I did like. The things I didn't like. The problem here is this movie was sold to me as a mind game movie. A cat and mouse type thing where the killer would mock Harry to try and find him. And we get the opening message telling Mr. Detective to find me. But after that it is just none of that. It is just an investigation which is very negative it's just it doesn't hit where it should have gone it goes into all sorts of side dramas to what the motivation could be which I felt very disappointed in uh, where we do have a lot of suspects we don't really see the killer in action we may see moments of what he's doing but otherwise we don't seem to follow how calculated he would feel and act which is what you kind of expected in this movie and the final thing which I didn't like was I got slightly confused about what the characters were meant to be were they meant to be Norwegian, American, English and it was all set in Norway and Harry Hole and Katrina Brett don't sound very Norwegian but then they throw out all sorts of Norwegian names for some of the other characters, they almost just slap a Norwegian name on the end to go actually we're in Norway I don't know if it's just being tidied up to make it a bit more easy for the western audience or what, it just and the accents were kind of all over the place sadly for location I would compare this to what R Wind River gave us but the problem is it wasn't as good a story as Wind River it tries too many twists and turns which can work in a film but this time it didn't quite hit so for overall I'm going to give this crime thriller I'm going to struggle to give it a free I don't think it's negative I do think there's enough positives for my liking it is two hours and slightly long could have been 140 giving us the same story overall have you seen the snowman what did you think of the snowman? Yeah. And hopefully you like this video and you'll subscribe to the channel and we'll get some more out to you. I've been Darren and we are out.